Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So OTD for the day. Someone's excited. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I can't believe it's almost what half a little bit past halfway for Vlogmas and somehow I survived it. I honestly wasn't sure if I was able to post every day. I did, you know, take a few days of a break during Paso and um, excuse the TV, downstairs TV is going off like crazy. And thank you guys that have been watching. I really, really appreciate it. And it's fun sharing, you know, Christmas and like the holidays holiday season with you guys and um, I'm ho hoping some of the content will put you in some good holiday spirit as well and for today it's a chill day again at home I think we're keeping it on the chill side until next week we do have you know friends coming over on Christmas Day and next week's gonna be busy for me in terms of work and so not next week this week I don't know my days are so muddled up what am I talking about so yes this week and for today we are what i have in plan is actually we're gonna go watch the new spider-man movie we've been looking forward to it my husband was like let's go watch it before we get too much of spoilers um that's gonna be out there in the media social media etc so far we haven't seen anything yet and that's why we want to go in the theaters watch it and not get spoiled we've been looking forward to it i don't know about you but i'm a huge marvel fan and um ever since a kid like my favorite is x-men though i do think x-men can be revamped and can be done better although i love wolverine my favorite character is rogue and None, no offense to the actress that they casted, but I think the rogue they presented in the um, X-Men movies was not the rogue I grew up liking. Okay, enough nerd talk. But yeah, so we're going to watch Spider-Man and then the rest of the day is uh, pretty chill. However, I am going to do a quick uh, beauty cabinet tour and update since it's been a year since my last video. I'll link it below and it will pop up right here. Uh, it's been like a year since I've done this a beauty cabinet tour and since then a lot of my products has been updated i do feel like as we age your skin changes and its needs changes and i've been trying out new products this year and i think i've tried out some long enough to give a good assessment and truthful review so i'm gonna do that later as well thank you again for joining me and let's get this day going quick ootd for the day i'm wearing a baseball cap i think this is from um worst behavior that brand that i like i bought it for a while so i don't know if they have this still but i like how simple it is it just has an x on the top no logo no nothing very minimal i'll check the website to see if they have anything similar but if not i'll link something similar below as well and this sweater top crop top from uh urban and it's very warm and cozy and it's cute too i think it was it makes a cute easy outfit and underneath I did layer with the Skims uh, tank because it is kind of chilly today in LA and although the sun is out it's been windy and I get cold easy I say that a lot that's why I always layer up and plus in the theaters I do think they do turn on the AC often given that I don't want to get cold when I sit through the movie for pants my old faithful jeans really wear these so much i swear i have like four pairs of these so i am washing them don't worry i am keeping it clean it does not smell or anything and uh right now i have my slippers on but i think i'm going with my nude color combat boots for the outfit today and that is my ootd First time back in the theaters. They didn't renovate anything, they just changed the sign. 
Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Someone's excited. Spider-Man. The forbidden door is open. Yeah. Oh, Spider-Man. 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 Spider
between these two products. Both these are fairly new products for me and I can't say if I love them, but I don't hate them. But I don't think I've used it enough to fully disclosure how I feel like their effect is on my skin. This is honestly brand new. I just bought it not long ago, like a few days ago. So far, uh, my skin is reacting pretty well to it. It's not causing me any breakouts. So I'm gonna continue to use this and I'll let you guys know how it improves my skin, if, if anything. And the other one is by The Ordinary. It's also a hyaluronic acid with vitamin B5. It supports like it's a hydration support formula and it's you know vegan everything and I switch between this one and that one they have similar functionalities but I think this one is more moisture focused that one is a more on the cleansing focused so that's why I switch between the two and trying to see how these two products will help me out. The next product I go in with is my moisturizer for nighttime. I'm gonna try and see if I can focus this. Does it focus? There we go. We have this guy, the Tata Harper Moisturizer, Water Lock Moisturizer. And I love this moisturizer. The reason I've started using this one instead of my Ultra Repair moisturizer from First Aid Beauty is because I realized at night I feel like my skin gets more dry after a full day you know just being out and about or even just you know being awake air and all that and this one gives a little bit more hydration in comparison to the ultra repair cream and maybe in some ways it is a little bit more oilier but not oily to the point where it's causing me any breakouts it's just a right amount that I need to keep my skin hydrated throughout the night and I love this product because it's very environmental conscious you take the bottle if you're done you just open it up the full bottle is reusable and all you have to do is get the refill and plug it in and you don't have to throw out the entire bottle. Therefore, it minimizes the plastic wastage from your beauty products, and I really like that. After all of that, I go in with this one. It's also by The Ordinary. It's their Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed so Oil. Seed Soil, I wanted to say. Seed Oil, and it's just adds a more moisture for the skin. It kind of helps locks in the additional products prior. And I really like the results by applying this at the very end of my nighttime routine. And combined with it, I usually go in with a jade roller and make sure all the products are absorbed before going to bed. Finally, don't forget treatment for your lips as well. And this is a very popular product amongst a lot of people. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have the, I believe this is the rose scent. I'm not sure. They have like a few scents. I think this is the rose or the cherry scent. I'm not sure. I'm guessing because of the <laughs> bottle color. This really works. I really like it. And I can see the difference when I use it and when I don't use it. Highly recommend if your lips get dry easy and it makes up applying lipstick the next day a lot easier as well. And lastly, for my lashes, I use this, the Vegamore Lash Serum. I do see a difference when I use it as well and when I don't use it. I use um, falsies and I use the falsie glue and sometimes, you know, it does damage my lashes and they do get weak. But when I use this daily and nightly, it helps minimize any breakage and I can see fuller lashes overall and on regular days like the this I just you know apply um, mascara and it works I really like it and for the two products that was in my last beauty cabinet tour and now I don't really use and I've been just using it on my neck because I hate wasting are these two I haven't really seen any change in my skin when I use it and versus when I don't use it. I just feel like it doesn't really do anything for me. The first one is this one, the Claudelle or Caudelle, I don't know how to, 
if I pronounce the wrong name wrong, I'm sorry, but it's their um, Vinosource Serum, Vinosource Serum, yeah. And it's supposed to be for hydration as well. It just doesn't really do anything for me. And uh, I'm just trying to finish it off. It's almost gone. There's like a little bit left and this is just residue, but yeah, there's not that much left. And lastly, this one, the retinol. I know a lot of people swear by retinol, but, and maybe it's just this one. I haven't tried any other ones yet. I didn't really see a result using it. I didn't see a difference. I don't feel any difference. And that's why I stopped using it on my face. But again, I've been using it on my neck. I hate wasting and it's supposed to help with anti-aging. So I didn't see the harm of using it on my neck. And yeah. And that is it for today's vlog. Thank you guys again for joining me. I'm going to end the vlog here now. It's getting kind of late. As you can see, it's dimming. I know I have my blinds down. It's again a gloomy day in LA. I guess like LA's winter is just a little bit more gloomy in the sense there's an overcast. And with the time change, I think we get dark around 5, which is it's kind of depressing but it is what it is thank you again for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow